So this is a bit weird. Uh, YouTube sent me a warning saying that my video about credit cards and the danger about being hacked by a flipper zero was actually violating their rules. So they deleted it. The specific video that was uh, removed uh, explained how you can protect yourself from getting your credit card information stolen. So why would YouTube remove such information? I was told that I could appeal the decision if I disagreed. So yes, YouTube, I disagree. And I would be perfectly clear about this channel does not encourage to any illegal activity. This channel does not tell explicitly how you can misuse any device or technology for any criminal activity. So this is about the opposite. This channel tries to bring real information for educational purpose. So I appealed uh, thinking that it was probably an AI bot that found my video suspicious because it has the words hacking and credit cards in the title. But guess what? Just after two hours, my appeal was rejected and my video remains deleted. I would say that, yes, I am disappointed. This only shows that the routines from YouTube are not good enough if they cannot separate the real facts and educational information from fake news and criminal activities. So when it comes to the credit cards and the flipper zero, the reason for making this is that there are many examples out there of people saying that this hacking device, so-called, is dangerous because it, it, it can read some of the information and they claim that this can be used for in-store payments in a contactless card terminal and there are plenty of videos and pictures showing that. But I am saying no and I'm arguing that this is misinformation. It is simply not correct. I explained quite in detail how the messages are exchanged between the EMV card terminal and a EMV card. How the data is encrypted with keys from the card issuer, clearly showing capabilities that the Flipper Zero simply cannot do. So don't get fooled and believe all the fake videos out there. I was also showing that, and I will be happy to do it again right here, that yes, a Flipper Zero can actually read some credit card information and you should be aware of this. And this is using the, the custom firmware. Uh, for the moment, I'm using the Rogue Master. So let's, let's try it here. Let's try this card. This is interesting because going into the NFC menu and pressing read, reading the card, it says it's a MasterCard. It can't parse the data from, from this app. Well, that's a good thing. I do not know. This is a quite new card. I don't know what they put into this because it cannot be read. I have this other card as well, uh, a bit older. Uh, trying again to read this card. The same answer. It can't, cannot parse the data. But I have more cards. This is my Curve card from, from UK. Trying to read this one. And here we go. Of course, I have masked data in this video, but you can clearly see the uh, card number in, in clear text. You can see the expiry date and the currency. That's not so important. But is this also possible using the official firmware from the Flipper Zero? Yes, I have tried. It is possible. But the point is that this is sensitive information and you should keep this for yourself. And that is why a RFID secure card sleeve is probably a good idea to use. So you cannot be kind of a target for, for, for this attack. The CVV code and the CVC code are not exposed. And this is a mechanism that mitigates the fraudulent activities. So that is a good thing. But the information above can still be used on some websites. And that is the reason for me to say that you should be careful and to protect your data, to not get kind of misused by this and to not get the information on stolen to be misused by, by uh, criminals. So that's all, I, I'd like just to, to say that and hopefully this will not be removed by, by YouTube. That remains to see.